Nigga Academics me. is the type of nigga, he's like a square. But I'm not no street that's, nigga. That's, I, I, been, I, I came from the streets, but I'm not no street nigga. I tell niggas that all the time. I've never been no street nigga. So if right now, if you and him get pulled over and there's a in the car, and it's... That ain't my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> Let me ask you, though. No, 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 no. Tell me because that right there, to me, is not snitching. Because hey, hey. we in a car. No, listen. If we in a car, right? If we in a car, and I, and and they, and they pull me over as a in the car, right? I'm gonna say that's not my my. It's your job to say that's not my either. But you got me nah. saying that's not my. It's not saying it's your. That is your job to say it's not your. I ain't talking about. I ain't talking about the yes so man. So y'all different. two in the car, bro. I think y'all should just not say nothing. How are you been going, man? What's going I've been on? doing good, bro. I've been really on like dad mode, so I really like stepped back for a little while. But now I'm getting my feet back wet, mm-hmm. so it's over for niggas. I gave him a chance to have fun. Thing do not. You think? You think Nick? It's, it's hard for niggas to take you serious because you like be stepping away. When With the know. music, shit? yeah, yeah, I be seeing the comments and stuff like. Like, I be getting all good comments. Like, he needs to drop more. He needs to do this. He needs to do that. I got real life stuff going on. Like, so music be, music help me at times. And at times, I just need to step away right quick. I feel like I asked this question before. It's crazy. It's like deja vu. Um, When it come to, like, having so much going on in your personal life, right? And it's like other niggas out there that don't got shit going on in that personal life. Do you sometimes feel like, you got the short end of the stick, like you, you, you had, you got all the hard cards dealt to you. Like, man, I gotta do all this. Shit. If I ain't had nothing that was going on, I could just focus on this music. It would be way more lit. You yeah, know what I mean? about that. But I don't. I mean, life gonna do what life do is. When you play cards, you play spades. You ain't gonna get all spades. Mm-hmm. You got figure it out. Sometimes you gonna make them, them hearts and them diamonds go Sometimes crazy. You gonna make them Jones work. Let's get it started. Yo, what's poppin', man? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J-Hill here. J-Hill Podcast. Special guest. We in the DMV with it. Again, y'all been seeing a lot of DMV artists. Hey, I be seeing the little things going around. I be seeing the little videos. <laughs> I don't say nothing, man. I just do my own thing, man. It is what it is. <laughs> 3 old Black is in the building. What up, dog? How you what's feeling? What's up, Brody? Hey. Back. What, what's part going two on, right man? here. Yeah, bro. I, um, You've been doing your thing for a long time. You have too, bro. We both, I feel like we both loved it. We was doing, the last one was in Baltimore. Yeah. Now you see where we at now. This, it's crazy. It's yeah. big right here. A lot didn't happen since then. You had the, um, what's the song that went crazy? Well, and I think talk, Popeyes. All talk went crazy. That yeah. joint's still booming. That joint's still going crazy. I was like, this song just might be stuck with me forever. This like really might be the one, like. When that happens and you see it go crazy, like, what are you thinking? Are you thinking I'm out of here or are you... Are you upset that you're not out of here, if that makes sense? Oh, no, I was out of here. Like, I I ain't look at it like, I'm a humble dude. I just be on to the next thing, for real. Like, I just be wanting to really work for it. When I'm locked in, I'm locked in. So if something pop off right now, I'm like, all right, that's lit. We could promote that for a little while, but what's next? Like, mm. now what we doing? Facts. You don't think we get sometimes trapped in our own thoughts, like always thinking about what's next? Because I ask, it's funny, I asked Lou, um, I forgot his name, but whatever. I think it's gonna kill me, but I, f- I asked somebody that. <laughs> and I was like, yo, is that healthy? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, just as men always working, we always think about what's next. But do we ever get a chance to appreciate what's in the moment? Do we ever get a chance to live with the success that we have and, and the things that we have accomplished? Because once something happens, it's like, what's next? As a man, I don't feel like we got time to. Because it's like, we gotta be all this, we gotta be a provider, mm-hmm. we gotta be everything. Men don't get breaks for real. Like like the real men type shit, we really don't get no breaks. Like, I, you got to do what you got to do. But how do you feel about that, though? For real, though? Life is life. Like, I, I like mentally, I be needing mental breaks. Like, I just be having a... That's why I be stepping away from music at times, because I got life stuff going on. So, like, I'm a single father. My baby mother live in Italy. Like, mm. the military center out there. So, I be having to 
step off and be a father, I'm like, that's number one. So I'm music number two to me. Mm. So that's my priority. Yeah. But it got to be something that, that you feel like, man, you know, I, I wish I could take a break. I wish I could. Yeah, hell yeah, I wish I could take it. I'm happy I'm down here right now. Mm. Like, this my break. Mm. I'm working at the same time. Even when I take a break, work always get involved, though. I never really take a break no matter where I go. We go, on, we go to Miami for a couple weeks vacation just to have fun. They wake up, where Black at? I'm at a studio. I be there. I be back in the house three hours or something like that. Mm. I always find time to work. It never like where uh, it's never where I told on you or nothing. No, I mean yeah, it do. I ain't gonna sit here and say not really, but it definitely does. But I just sit in the corner or something. Not sit in the corner, but I just sit to myself and just realize that I gotta we gotta eat. Mm. Damn, I feel like that's something that a lot of people probably wouldn't know, right? Like when it. When it when it when it hurts, you know what I'm saying. And those times when you do have to sit in the corner, just like on some man time, a lot of niggas don't know. A lot of people don't know because you know, like coming from where we come from, we gotta have that that persona on us of like you know, like we ain't rocking. You yeah, know what I'm saying. Right. But sometimes it hurt, and I feel like we need spaces to be able to talk about mm-hmm. those things, though. Facts, facts, though. I don't really like talk about a lot of stuff. I just tell my mother, like, or like my grandmother or somebody, whoever I know that to watch my son, I'd be like. Please just take him right quick. Like I really need a break right quick. Like just for a couple hours, anything. So definitely, definitely be crazy. That it, it's it's like a honestly, even for me, I don't even know you that well. Like I know you as an artist. I know you do your thing. I see your Instagram, but like hearing that come from you is definitely like a sense of relief almost. Because I know it's so many other people out there who probably look to you mm-hmm. and be like as motivation, as right. the 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 person I gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And to the, the hear you have some normalness to you, you know what I'm saying? Have a, yeah, I'm definitely normal. I'm I'm as normal as you could be. Like mm. I'm 100% normal. All right, let's talk. I feel like the last time we came on, you you, you did a freestyle. We didn't have a conversation, though. Let's go back. For the people that don't know, even for me, for real, where did it all start? Like, where did it begin? What, the music or just what? Like, life? Like Music. Music started for me, uh, probably like, I really was on straight go-go time. Like, mm. y'all from out B-more, y'all don't like that. I used to go go to B-more club cool. parties. I like, um, what's her name, Adele? Come on, bro, I know a little something. What's she the got? Adele, um, I don't know the do band with... who did it, but they remixed the Adele song. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, what she got to do that with it? That shit was hard. Nah, yeah. What's the song, was it? What, the Hello Jump? Back that- Crazy, come yeah, on, bro. that's fine. Backyard, backyard is backyard. backyard I know, and, raised up. And the other, the, the the classics. I know the classics. Uh, your name three in the morning. That's hard. Oh yeah, see, you know, like, you supposed to know this though. Well, how am I supposed to know this? You Google this because you knew I was coming. I did. I told you I ain't prepared. I told you I get a chance to prepare, but I mean, yeah, it is this, what it is. Random, right? Um, yeah, like who else? The uh, the classics. T shirt. Uh, T-shirt. the uh. What the hell is a t-shirt? No, I mean, lay your head on my pillow. Oh, that yeah. song. Um, yeah, come on. Awesome. Nah, he faking now, y'all. I'm not, I'm, like some some of it crank. I ain't gonna lie. When I first got to college, I was got on my nerves. Wow. But as I got into music, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. It, it reminded me of reggae a little bit. Some of it. Yeah, kind some of it. Some of it. Like all the I was like 14, 15, used to go to Six Flags and like just bad girls. This is before we even had phone. We was going to Six Flags with pen and paper. Yeah. Like and we bagged, like, me and C-City, my cousin, he been making my beats and stuff now. We bagged some Baltimore girls. They was like that, too. They like, come on. It's a Baltimore club party. It's Friday. Come out here. And I'm like, for real? You remember the club? Nah, it was like in a... That joint was lit, though. <laughs> <laughs> they was at that joint. I, I was like, man, I need to hear some go-go. I go to the DJ. I'm like, come on, some go-go. He said, man, go-go's a no-no out here. I was like, damn. But... I f- would be more music. But it started back then for me. Like, mm, started off with the Go-Go band. I got into rap when Go-Go, like, slowed down, kind of. Like, and uh, they started closing all the Go-Go's, so we ain't had nowhere to party yet, and I was really getting bored. So I started hosting, like, rap concerts. Mm. For, like, I hosted, like, a Chief Keep concert before and all that. But he's the one that really made me, like, I'm going to the studio. Because mm. he ain't know the words. So I was like, this nigga just got, like, 10... 10, 15,000 to come here and just mumble. I was like, I could go do this and I'm gonna know my songs. Mm. 
though. Then I just like got into rap. It was some trash at first, but I like when people like tell me I can't do something. So it make me just turn up on it. So it took me a little while. I just needed to find my voice. For I always said once I get ad libs, I'd be good at this. And then when you found the ad libs, it was because I never used to do my ad libs. I used to do a song, and then whoever I did a song with. I'd be like, go all the way through. Like, don't stop. When they get to my verse, keep going. Do them jumps, too. Oh, shit. I never did them. So when I just started finding them jumps, that's when I really got good. What year, like, at what point of time in your career, not in your career, because obviously it was in the beginning, but, like, how far was this compared to, like, your first song? Because what was the first song that went crazy? Um, To me, like, what's, what's crazy to you, though? I mean, I, like, me, what's crazy, I would think, like, obviously, like, when it went outside of... DC, like I think it was um leg walk that one, yeah, yeah. That I was one. I wasn't even living here no more when I dropped that. I dropped that living in California, but I recorded it here. I flew here to get a haircut, and like that song, I just was feeling some type of way. I, I was mad about something, so I just went in the studio and just got that shit out. Was you still finding yourself then, or you had already? You was already made oh, a name nah. for yourself. Yeah, I had already, I was already, yeah, my feet was already in the water. Like, I was already getting booked, getting bags for sure. How long ago was that? What year is this right? That had to be, like, f- longer than five years ago. Yeah, I was, yeah, Leg Walk probably came out in, like, 2016, 17 or something like that. Okay. And before that, I was dropping tape, tape, tape. My tapes was going crazy. I was getting booked to come to clubs off tapes. I had songs in D.C. that was going, like, stupid, stupid, stupid crazy, and people was reaching out about them. I had a song get banned from D.C. clubs because they said it, it was starting too many fights. Wait, what song was that? Uh, what that joint was called. Oh, what is it called? Picture them having a song banned from the club. They ain't banning, uh... Damn, I'm so mad. Like, why don't I know the name of this joint? It's mine. They not going to ban, uh... It's a lot of songs that, 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 that get niggas turned. Nah, I ain't joint, never hear him ban no like, song. It was crazy. DC, you couldn't play it in the clubs. Like, I no, got in the fight because of the song. My bad. Damn. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the name. So I they banned the song. Action. Yeah, and they couldn't play it no more. Like, it was like, as soon as that song come on, within the next two songs, a fight will break out. How long did it take you to, to find your uh, find your way in the music? Mm, like, Seriously, when I think I got good, probably like a year or two to really like find my voice and find everything. Mm. Damn, bro, that's crazy. I never knew that, man. It's 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 so it's it's dope to to hear it from you because like from my outsider, I just see three old black, right? I see the three old black that like all the fans see, like the the lit nigga that's making the the music that's on the ground, making all the crazy trailers and videos <laughs> and shit with the guns. <laughs> I see that nigga like. Oh By the way, I'm pretty God. sure they like water guns and shit. Like, nah, they real. All my guns are my name. I'm a smart nigga. Oh, I mean, well, you can say every that. single <laughs> one of. I don't, I don't do nothing wrong. Like, I don't break the law. Like, I don't want to bother them people. How you feel about the niggas that that, that be rapping and like, is not is is it's not on the same time? What with 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 the guns? Yeah, I can't say nothing because I've been there. Mm. I've really been there, so I really can't say too much. I didn't. I didn't really used to like doing. I used to let people like older people and they be like, y'all need, y'all got all this, y'all need to do this. And, but back then, I was like, I don't care. Mm. Like I ain't had nothing. Not saying to live for, but basically, I really didn't have nothing to live for. Like I ain't had no kids. I ain't had no responsibilities. I ain't had nothing. I ain't care what would have happened because all my friends growing up, they was dying at like eighteen and stuff. So growing up, I just used to be like, I just want to go. I just want to be eighteen. Mm. Then when I hit 18, I'm like, I just want to be 21. Then 25, I was like, oh, this shit, niggas, I like, boom. So at first when I was rapping, I didn't care. Mm. So I understand because that's the mindset that D.C. kids be having. It's getting younger and younger now. Like, Not just D.C. We got crazy. a five-year-old just shot somebody or something like that. Like, D.C., O.C. right now. So... I be kind of understanding because I used to have that same mindset. Like, whatever happens, happens. It's crazy. Like, we talk about, like, not getting a fair shot, man, because it's like, in the hood, like, that's all we was thinking. Like, you lucky if you turn 18. You lucky if you turn 21. They saying this. So I can picture, like, you, like, just trying to make it to 18, trying to make it to 21, really just doing what you think you got to do to get out. 
of your environment. Like, getting jobs and stuff, I was like, I used to be like, honestly, I used to be like, I don't think I'm going to be here that long, so what's the point of me getting a job? Like, I'm not working. Damn. Like, nah. But then the older I got, I was like, oh, it's time for me to do something. Like, so I started getting little jobs and stuff like that. But I mean, so you've been a prominent name in the DC, right? In in in, in DMV, DC. When you see young niggas coming up there, even though you you say you can't say nothing because you've been there, but you can say something because you've been there. Oh no, I sense. I say I can't. I'm not that I can't say you nothing. Can't I them. can't judge them. For sure. Like I can't say nothing wrong about them doing that, but I can. I do say stuff to the younger rappers. I tell all the rappers, get gun license. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Mm. I made every person around me. You ain't got no felon? Go get a gun license. Oh, you got a felon? Oh, that's some slight. That's five, six years ago? Hey, we're going to get that expunged. You can do that in D.C.? Come on, man. I, it's, it's a nigga that, uh, that's from D.C. That, that be on that heavy. Brown skin guy. He be on he got like a thousand guns. I don't know his name. Mark Chopper. Yeah. He be talking about that shit. So, nah, man, I just did a show with him and all. He just called me before I came here. When I come back up there, he want to do some gun skits with me and stuff like that. But he, that's my man right there. So you can get, I ain't know you can get a legal gun in DC. I thought like, oh yeah, I got a gun Maryland, license like, in my pocket. Merlin was the hardest place yeah, to get. Yeah, Merlin is crazy. I just, but I know DC and Merlin is different. Okay, that makes Merlin sense. was the hardest place to get a gun license. That when I say I don't do nothing wrong, only thing I ever did illegal was ride in Merlin with a gun. Mm. Two weeks ago, my Merlin gun license came in the mail. That shit is hard, bro. Like, so how the hell you got, what you had to do to get that? Like, how, how do you, what's the process to get a, to get, a gun license? To, it's in different in different places. I got a gun license in Florida, like, cause I lived in Florida, yeah. so that's my first time I ever getting a gun license. It was so sweet. I was like, oh shit. Then I moved to Atlanta. It's lit. I was like, license. I said, I said, it's all I gotta use. <laughs> this. Yes, they was like, nah. They said all you gotta use is a license. So that's what. It jumped in my head. I was like, all right, I'm about to go get an Atlanta license off Bucks. Mm-hmm. But then they wouldn't even let me buy a car out here until I got a Georgia license. Yeah, no, facts. Because I, I, paid, I paid my car off of Bucks. I'm at the Benz dealership. I'm like, yeah, let me get, I'm faking too. I'm like, let me get this right now. I'm trying to leave off the lot with this. They thinking I'm bluffing. Mm. They're like, yeah, you got to go get a Georgia license. This is where you go. You go do this. So I went and got that. Then they telling me about the gun license shit. So I go to the gun store. It was right across the street from my house in Sandy Springs. I go in there like... Let me get that Draco. They're like, all right. Show the license. I'm like, that's it? Like, that's all you got to do out here? But D.C., D.C. was kind of sweet. You just got to have a gun and go to the place. You got to not, don't take the gun inside the building, but get your serial number, all that. You go in there and just tell the people your info, and then they register the joint for you. Oh, so I can just go there tomorrow and just be like, yo, this is the number. You got to go pass a class first. Okay. Mark Chopper. Mark Chopper. I ain't go to Mark Chopper. I don't think I'm with somebody else. Shameless plug. Shout out to Mark Chopper. We got that. We go yeah, to him. Mark Chopper the- could get you that jump too. You go to him, he can get you DC, Maryland, Virginia. I got all them jumps. My man's writing this shit down. He like, I'm about to, I'm about to get this guy license to DC. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> no, that's all. Yo, so question. There's a lot of things going on in DC right now, especially in the music scene. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it's a big ass frenzy. What you mean? Like, I just feel like every day on. DMV hoods and news is like just some like, like some crazy stuff. Like yo, help me understand what's going on in DC. I don't know what's up with them people. I mess with everybody, but but I feel like y'all like are y'all like are, are y'all coming together? We here, so I'm I'm not gonna ask you this question because we hear too much at this point. Um, why DC ain't make it and come together and stuff like that? But we do come together though, so you can't really say that. I promise you can't say that because. 
everybody got songs with everybody, and we do songs, we do videos together, we do everything. But it's just we can't do that at home mm. because you got to move different in D.C. Mm. It's so little. And then you probably got another rapper. And it don't even be the rappers. Mm. The rap, we really be cool for real. Like, I, I don't got no beef with no rapper. We all cool. I'm cool with her. I got songs with everybody. But it be the entourages. And the rappers be so scared to talk to their entourages about the situation. Like, look, this is what it's going to be. Like, mm. I'm about to do a song with this nigga. Y'all need to relax right quick. Like, because my entourage had a beef with another entourage. Because we did a song with me, Black Fortune, Big Flock. Money Ma and Gunu, rest peace Gunu. And somebody, my, one of my men had a problem with one of they men. One of who men? One of, it was, one of my men got in tour with one of Gunu men or something like that. But us being us, I'm like, bro, we really know each other. So we ain't talked for a while after this happened. But we both in LA. So I'm like, look, bro, we need to just chalk it up. Bro. We need to talk before we go through the song. So me and him step off, we talk. Dap up, love is love. Let's go make this music. We made the song, shot the video, same day. I, like niggas need to like normalize that. But it's good. Was good. I, I, again, I'm I'm just getting familiar with the the whole DMV side of the music scene. Was he a little older? Mm mm. Gunu is younger. See, that's I mean, well, that's dope though, cause I'm so I feel like that's easier to do with the older niggas. It was he, he was not like a regular young dude. He had like a mm. good mindset, okay. so it was easy to just talk to him, like and. That that got handled quick, but I feel like if more rappers do that, niggas it take off quick. But niggas ain't really trying. I feel like especially the young ones, like dudes, ain't trying to uh, niggas, talk. Like talk uh, for what? Niggas, niggas, niggas is being niggas basically. Especially when you got people antagonizing shit. Especially people care. You can't. I don't care what nobody think about anything. Like I don't care. Like nobody be want to do the the barber son interviews. Mm. People was telling me, don't do it. I'm like, I told this man I was going to do it. Like, I ain't going to not do it because y'all don't want me to do it. Like, yeah, I'm I, a man of my word, and I just don't put myself in situations. I don't put myself in other people, like, situations or business when I mind my business. You can't be mad at me. This is business. You can't be mad at me for doing Somebody might not mess with you. You did a JM. You did. So. I don't think nobody not. Man, you never know. It'd be hidden be, hate. Yeah, I mean that's facts. Like so even you can't make everybody happy, but nah, you facts. you can make yourself happy. That's tricky because like even with that, like, I mean shit, we here. He going crazy though. You gotta give him credit where it's yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I you got to. I don't yeah. interviews did like seven thousand in a day. Yeah, Just, I mean people love, but I feel like people love that 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 type of content though. As much as people you know it's funny? Since we here, fuck it. Why not? I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Uh, as much as people say, as much as people talk shit about this man, guess what they do? Go watch him. They open up that motherfucking <laughs> YouTube app and look at him. He said some shit about me. My man's just like, yo, you seen this, Jay? Y'all seen it? But guess what they do? Oh, nah, they opened up that YouTube app. They put it in the chat. They talking about it. And I'm like, damn, put my shit in the chat. (laughs) But it's like people, a lot of the shit that I'm talking about, it's not appealing to the masses because that's just not, I guess that's not entertaining. But I'm okay with, you got to be okay. I feel like you got to be okay with that. That's how I feel about rap. I feel like I don't do enough dumb shit to take off. Mm. I feel like my song just, I feel like I make way better songs than the songs that took off. But the song that took off was violent. It was guns. It was all this. But I make other videos having fun and stuff like that that's better than that song, and it don't do that. And I'm like, that's what they really want. I don't get in no beefs. You don't see me doing nothing wrong. I ain't no, I ain't on Instagram live or nothing, arguing with people. I don't do none of that. So I be like, this shit never going to take off because I don't do enough dumb shit, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to do dumb shit. I'm going to be me. Why do you think? The negativity and his stupid shit sells so much. I don't know. I wish I had that. Because <laughs> <laughs> maybe know. Like, like, if I had to answer that shit, I really don't know. Like, why do they like it? I don't know. But 
But do you think it's fair to like even even with the barber son shit? Do you think it's fair like even like we seen six nine and antagonize people and just talk so much? That, that's not. That's like bro. Like I get it. So you earn your money some type of way, but it's like bro. Like who? Don't nobody want to live like that though for the rest of their life. Like if you make all these people mad, I make ten people mad right now. They might not mess with me today. They might not mess with me tomorrow. But two, three, four years later, I'm like still. Ha- I'm gonna think it's over. Mm-hmm. Something happened to me. You ain't gonna know who did it. You made too many people mad. Yeah. And yeah. I, I get like on one side, people say I don't care about what people think and stuff like that. But it's like, at, when you want to be a good person, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I do care about what people, how people look at me and my perception. Of people. Just being honest, like, I know it's so easy to say, I don't give a fuck what nobody think. Yeah, yeah, like, I care about my character. Like, I do. I care how it's per- perceived in the world. I do. Oh, your character, yeah. I understand that. But I'm talking about, like, people. Mm, I really don't. Like, I don't care what people be thinking. Mm. I'm going to do what I want to do. But yeah. As long as my family is happy. I care about what my family thinks. For sure, for sure. I don't for care sure. about what nobody else think. Yeah. Now, I mean, I feel like when you say, like, making people mad, though, right? Like, even like, I don't know, like, I don't know, if we do business, I do want you to be able to be like, nah, Jay, a stand up dude, right? If you mm-hmm. come into my establishment, I do an interview, I do care if you be like, nah, dude is mad professional. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't care. Like, that, oh, yeah. all I got in this world is my name and my word. You feel me? So, like, I do care about t- little shit like that. Yeah, see, we different. So, you don't care about niggas saying I, you professional or not, or some, what's your name? I know, I know what I am, and my family like know what I am. I like that. That's like a female be like, uh, this, they said you mess with such and such. Well, that nigga dick whack. Probably is. Like, I don't, you wanna find out? That's all I'm gonna tell you. You wanna find out? Damn. Slider the DM. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you, I bet they gonna send the word around about me. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. They're like, bitch, you lying. Bitch, you lying. I don't, they, they, they not gonna believe that person no more. Okay. Now you're gonna see who the real lie is. You wanted to have a find out for themselves. Yeah, come, so. let's see. Facts. I'm telling you. This. I mean, I think that's a, that's a that's a um special place to be, though. I, I feel like a lot of people, more people need to be that, arrive at that place. But it's a journey. <laughs> younger, when I younger me, I'm punching you. Like, younger me, you say anything. I'm, I was a hothead. Like, I was just, I ain't even gonna talk. I'm gonna just punch. But now I just, I don't care. Like, I'm older now, bro. I, don't, I got a family to take care of. I'm chilling. Mm. I don't care what they think. Let them think it. Facts. I feel like that family shit definitely opened your eyes to so many things, bro, especially as men. Because, like, you know, it's so easy to, like, just. Just just crash out. It's so easy to crash. I feel like, oh my God, bro. Like, mm. I'm a good thinker now. I used to just be a doer. Now I'm a great thinker. This that's this is where the conversation that I love having, bro, because you know, like, it was it was a point coming from the hood where like, you know, we thought that shit was right, bro. And like that shit, I was getting chills because like, you know, like it was a point where I used to always say, like, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it, right? Mm-hmm. So even if somebody, if somebody disrespect me, I gotta show them that I'm not playing. I'm not like I'm not to be played with. You know what I'm saying? I thought that that was the right thing. Like I thought that's what I had to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I understood. I, I I found out so quickly and so easily that nah, you really allow with niggas to trick you out your position. Facts. Facts. That's crazy. Like going back to the gun license situation. Remind you, I said I just got my Merlin gun license two weeks ago. But I definitely used to be in Maryland with my shit on me. Like, and then going back to the not caring what people think, junk too. I got in a situation in Maryland. Somebody tried to rob me, but I was quicker than them. And I whipped out and I pointed my shit at the nigga. And I'm like, bro, get back in your car and roll out. He couldn't, I know he probably had something, but he couldn't get to it. So me, I could have just shot you. Like, and I, I'm like, I'd have got in trouble because I'm not supposed to be in Maryland with this junk for real, for real. So let him go, ran, blah, blah. But then something else happened after that. We don't get into that. Oh, fuck it. Something happened. It was on my mother ring camera. I did an interview about this situation. 
saying, and they was like, he's lying, blah, blah, he's cap, he's cap. But mind you, this whole situation on my mother ring camera. So back to me not can, I really could have just, huh, here go the video right here. No, mm-hmm. fuck it. The people who fuck with me seen it, but I'm not going to just be on the internet, oh, 3 Black does this, blah, blah. No, well, I want you to believe that. Whatever you whatever you want to believe, I guess. Man, basically, I don't. What was it that you, got that has that has you arrived to that? Because you wasn't like that all the time. I had a son. Mm. Before and out of We wouldn't even be having this talk if my son would not be born, like if he wasn't born. Because I think I probably really would have crashed up. I really wouldn't have thought or did enough. I'd have just did my thing. Damn. That's cr- Like, that shit is hard, bro. Like, that's the... <laughs> that's the shit I wish went viral. To be honest, bro. Because there's so I'm many people you. who crashing out and they just don't have a guy. Niggas just don't know, bro. Like, mm-hmm. do you do you sometimes feel like I access to uh, many people, like, a sense of, like, survivor's guilt? Survivors remorse for the people who who are cat crashing out for the people that who hasn't learned their lessons like you learned your lesson. Do you feel like sorry for them at any at any time? Sometimes I feel sorry for some of them, not all of them, because mm. some of them I just know they're gonna do it. So it's like I was expecting it. So why would I feel sorry? I expected it. I knew it was gonna happen. I feel sorry for the ones who, like I said, don't. Cause nine times out of ten. People crashing out because of guns. You're doing something with a gun. So I feel sorry for the ones who just carrying it to protect themselves and somebody else is bothering you and you just did something to get home to your family. Mm. That's why I be preaching that gun license stuff because you really just crashed out, but you didn't crash yeah, out. Yeah, I'm about to say, that's not really crashing out, though. But they going to jail for it. It's not moving smart as you should. Yeah. But when I say crash, I'm like letting somebody get you to a point where you reacting because of... How you feel and your in, in, in your emotions? That's crashing out. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas talking all this online. So like I'm gonna pull up and show them that I that I'm not one of them. Like that's crashing out. That's that's yeah, that's dumb. But a lot of these young niggas don't know. Yeah, don't I be think saying, that, bro. I be seeing people do that though. Like I done seen a video somebody spinning on Instagram live. Like they on Instagram live together arguing. Like you at the store right now? Watch this. Fuck y'all ain't not seen that video. Uh, all right, watch this. And the dude just stood there, so he he wanted to look tough because he on Instagram live. He getting shot at, just not moving. He ain't get hit though. But I'm like, bro, what are y'all doing, bro? Now that's crashing out. But that be that social like social media is is good, but it also like shit like that. Cause what happened? A nigga do that, right? He ain't get hit. Now the next man think he just as lucky, and now he gonna follow behind him. Now niggas got t-shirts of you. Like that's shit. Me. That shit is stupid, bro. Yeah. That shit. That's life now. The DMV is OC. Oh, my God. Tribe is jumping over here. But the DMV, life is just crazy. I feel like the internet just mess with everybody's brain. Nah, facts. And it's too many people that really, 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 really care about the internet. We got an egg. <laughs> Remember the the uh, the uh, the commercial like, this is this is your brain. This is your and this brain, is your brain on, on drugs. drugs. Nah, nah, we got to redo that shit. <laughs> this is your brain on social media. Man, yeah, definitely, bro. Like, that's crazy, and it's crazy because like I know like as me being older, I would uh, I used to be like man these young niggas ain't about nothing, but even the niggas that's like the social media niggas or the the corny people like they be the ones that really be about the the corniest people that we think that the shit that the niggas would never do back in our day, the opposite of that still be the niggas that really will still knock your head off like they still would like the goofy shit that you think they still about that mm-hmm. facts hundred percent. Definitely 100%. They just doing it different. It's like but these young niggas now are different. I don't, I don't know what's in the milk or something. Like, <laughs> facts. They are going dumb. No, like, facts. The killings getting younger and younger. You said eight year old. What just happened in Virginia? Uh, uh, like an eight year old pulled a gun out on the teacher. Mm. You ain't see that? I think it was in Norfolk or something. I think, like that. yeah, yeah, I did. I think I did see that. She got yeah. shot. Did he shoot the teacher? He shot the teacher. Shit is crazy, bro. He was like eight years old or something like that. Oh, that shit's crazy. It's these, man, it got to be like the games or something. <laughs> but you can't blame nothing on nothing because... But your video be crazy. I mean, but again, yeah, you got your license and shit. But some people probably don't know no better. I got like one, two crazy videos. Like, let me think. 
Yeah, I got like two crazy videos with guns. You don't really see guns in all my videos, except for like two. Um, I really be on fun stuff in my videos. Mm. Like we done shot video, cause it's like we done shot videos with Nerf guns. I only got two crazy videos with guns in them that I believe. So. But the Instagram video, I mean, they not crazy, but like if if you don't if if I don't know you right, if I don't know your story, I ain't see no interviews. I just come on your Instagram. You got the big straps that's, and shit. That's one video. Go go to more than one. Right. And I had just bought that gun and I was just happy. Not facts. What's that nigga name? I keep forgetting his man name, bro. I fuck with this nigga. So heavy the heavy set nigga. He made the song about uh he like, I don't be doing none of that shit. That's <laughs> crazy because I had this me and him talked about that. I had that same kind of song. What's his name? Monster. Monster. I fuck with that shit. I did a song with him too, like a couple years ago. But I had that same kind of song and I was sick because I was like, I ain't dropping this. This joke. <laughs> I was like, this shit corny, dog. And I was saying crazy shit about Joe. Like, I was just lying the whole song. Like, he dropped it. It popped. He dropped it. I was, I was, I think I called my, I called the studio. I was like, you heard that monster song, bro? He's like, oh, I gotta go listen. He listened. He said, dang, that's crazy. He said, yeah, you got a song like here. You called it up here like four months ago. And it's just sitting at the studio. And you can't even, like, even this, like, you can't even, like, say that publicly because then it's going to seem like it's hate, right? I ain't do it. So he did it. So. But I'm saying, like, saying I had a song, it's like, yeah. now niggas, like, niggas think you lying. Niggas think Man, there's dates on that shit. You could go check the dates when stuff got recorded. No, nah, facts. facts. But that's crazy. Nah, that's my man. I fuck with, bro. Nah, that shit's hard. You think, you think niggas can really make a career out of making music like that, though? No. That no. probably was just a trend. Yeah. I don't think he... I think that he could probably... That shit was hard. Like, it was really hard, though. Like, Oh, was, yeah. I feel like... Like, like Flock about, like, versus hard. Like, I, I, like, Flock is Flock. Flock is Flock. It's like, no matter what, Flock is going to be Flock. It's so hard like, to keep up with Flock on the song. And I know this person. This is my man, 15 plus years. He's, like, one of them around that jump. Mm. Okay. So, but you don't think niggas could, like, keep it up with that? That type of music. Like other people? Yeah. Like I feel like other people Could we turn a new leaf? I feel like <laughs> could we? I feel like everybody could do it one time. Well, that's it though. One time. But I feel like you can't do that twice. We ain't trying to hit this. Yeah. Um, See, we just we just want the ignorance. We want it. Like fuck it. Like yeah, embrace they, it at this point. You can. Like try it. Try it. If it worked for him, it might work for you. Try it. Yeah, nah. It's like me trying to interview a bunch of like priests on this motherfucker. So. Yeah, see, <laughs> you want us ignorant people <laughs> with the big guns on the TikTok site. Like, no, nah. <laughs> nah, facts. Yo, uh, what's what you got going on though, man? Like, what what what, what makes you, I see you doing a lot of interviews and shit. Like, what's um, what are you pushing? But I just woke up last week and was like, I'm being a rapper again. Just, I could just do what I want. Yeah. Cause I took like a long break, bro. I took a like a break, break just to sit in the house. I never had a child before. Like I was, I, I was. How old? Is he? How old? Yeah, yeah. About to turn two in June. Congratulations, dog. Huh? Thank. You. Gemini I got a young Gemini. That's what. Nah, he had cancer. Cancer. Yeah, he he. June? Well, oh, like June twenty something. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But I was like, I want to experience this. I want to experience everything. Like I packed up my stuff in Atlanta in my house. And left. Everybody, like, you got a big ass house out here. Why you leave? I'm like, bro, I'm gonna need help with this. Like, mm. you think I'm gonna stay down here by myself? No, I'm going up top with the family. I was fatherhood for you, dog. It's lit. It gets stressful at times because he bad as hell. But what's the hardest part? Changing dirty, the dirtiest diapers. That's the hardest part. Hell yeah, that's the hardest part. You ain't never seen shit coming out of a diaper before. This shit is disgusting, yet. bro. I feel like that would be easy, like changing right. the diaper, but when waking me up right, in, you could in the middle of the night. You could borrow my for a week, bro. Waking me up in the middle of the night probably be hard. And I'm going to give his ass Pedialyte before he come to you or something. <laughs> Wait, why would you do that? So I make sure it's the shittiest shit possible, That's bro. That's crazy. All that right. shit is disgusting. So I would. how do you feel about niggas that's like not in their children's lives? I don't know how they do it. I really don't. I don't know how you can do it. Mm. Like, because I feel like cause I grew up like with no father for a while, so it's like... I was like, nah, I ain't gonna, nah, I ain't gonna be on that because I know how I used to feel, like football games, mm -hmm. nobody here, like everything I was doing, football, all that. I was going to everything, dolo. I was catching a bus after football practice, six in the morning, early practice, like, dang, 
Then I remember my stepfather came to one of my games. I was like, I got to show out now. So I just know the feeling of having family at your games and having them not at your games, like having them in your corner and not being in your corner. So I was I would never want nobody to go through this. Facts. What about the um the girls, though? Like, the, you, it's, it's so many, like, baby mamas that ain't trying to let their baby father see the kids. Like, do you think about that differently now? Yeah, because I, I got... People around me who baby mothers be weird like that, so it's like, if you if you a father and you trying to be in that kid, like don't give up, keep trying, like, mm. like show, cause the kid gonna grow up and remember that shit. Like I remember seeing him try to do this. I remember seeing him try to pick me up. My mother was tripping, so they gonna remember that shit. Okay, last question. You um, you been on, like getting to know you and understanding you better. Like I I think I have a better uh, understanding of who you are. When it kind of creating content, either music, podcast, whatever lane you want. And when it comes to like making viral content, content that hit, what would your suggestion be? Rather it be... Stop trying so hard. Mm. Just just go, don't think about it. Like I never thought like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to go viral. Like That's weird. Like, if you good enough to just do that, like, mm, I'm going to go viral. I'm gonna... But don't do nothing dumb to go viral. Like, But a lot of people do dumb stuff to go viral and it go viral. Yeah. So, like. But that's dumb, though. Now you got, I right, look at Bunk Gang. He used to do all that dumb shit. All the niggas that you used to see do dumb shit, where they at now? And then it's probably still people out here looking for I mean, that. 6 9 still going crazy. And then, and then some, he can't make no song with nobody, but he's still going crazy. He probably still can. Like, niggas, there's, there's people out here he could probably go do a song with. You think so? They all getting hot now, so they might as well fucking. That's a fact, bro. Start nigga. a fucking superhero team or something. Like, nah, fact. You seen the night? What's the nigga? Bro, I don't even. This is a conversation I don't even know. I really don't know. I be trying to stay hip with the trend and shit. What's that nigga name? 1090 Jake? Who that? That's the white boy, right? That's his name, Kyron? You ain't see the video. Like, that's the dude what that... he did. He, well, he put um, Boston Richie... That's the rapper name, I've been right? hearing about Y'all gotta help me out, because I really don't know about these I've people. I've been hearing so, so much So he put the, uh, the, um, the interrogation video out. But then niggas just dropped a video of him saying he snitched. Like, so like... So they it, both hot. They might as well team crazy. up. This is the whole Six industry. 6 9 might as well start a gang, so he got... <laughs> tell you, Slim. Hot boys. Bring them back. Who gonna give me top five in the hot boy roster? Nah, you getting crazy now, but fuck it, I'm a rapper again, so whatever. Say nah, uh, nah, can't do that. I don't know. Nah, you can do that, bro. You told me I don't know these niggas. Six nine is number one. He don't cause he don't give a fuck. All right, top five, the the hot boy roster. Top five, six nine. He who the point hot? Guard. Tell me who hot right now. He run a point. I don't know, nigga. You know who hot? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, because you just told me you went to my man shit. You you gave it up. Nah, so, nah. nah Boston Richie, I only know about that because I had a show with him the day that his shit came out. Wait, what? That shit crazy. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting out of here. Wait, was. so you ain't do the show? Nah, I did the I don't miss no money. I did the show and I left. All right, so top five. But I heard like some of his songs, so at first I was going to stay and watch him perform. And niggas come to D.C., they always fuck with me. Like everybody, Soy Lee, they always come to D.C., they always fuck with me, hang with them. Do whatever. I was like, let me introduce myself. This nigga do that. I was like, nah, I'm gone. So he ain't watch the show because the interrogation video came out. He I said know this before that. Too. I ain't even see no video. But if it's allegations about something, I ain't gonna be like, he hot, he hot, he hot. I'm gonna just sit back. Like, I ain't gonna. So you could have watched the show. I mean, you ain't know if it was short. Now he said he made them names up, man. That's what he said. I don't know. I ain't watch it. I bet. Top five hot, hot boy roster. All right, who yours? Um. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I'm in Atlanta. Yeah, niggas don't know. Nah, I mean, bro, I, I just told you I really don't know these niggas. You said niggas. you in Atlanta? Yeah, so I, 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 mean? I probably got in trade lately if I'm in Atlanta because I'm probably trying to do some of these interviews. Bro, I got a house here too, bro. Nah, but you're a rapper. I'm an interviewer, nigga. I got to get the niggas that's hot on the interview. They might not want to interview, interview them niggas? Shell, yeah. You disgust me. It was crazy. You out your mind if you think I'm not about to interview these niggas. Man. You so you telling mad me mad about that other interview you did, boy? You bring six nine on here, they going. You talking about? But he not hot. He, what you mean he ain't hot? He trying to get me to say something. I bro, know I'm how y'all do on here. 
I don't know. That nigga crazy. That nigga don't even care that he had. That's what make him a different type of breed. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. He was jealous, so he didn't get the interview. That wasn't. That's not nothing about. They are gonna be beefing. They not. I don't you, what them. rappers? You think I'm a care? No, that's gonna fuck your shit up, though, bro. Can you give me a timestamp for that, Kyron? I'm not like I'm not, I'm not gonna care. Nah, I think they really might be beefing up. Like that's like they're gonna beef with me for. If I see you interview six nine, I'm like that is crazy, bro. And then the next day you like, yeah, come on. I'm like. Nah, bro, he just did that happen, I'll bro. take that. I'm going to take that L. But, but that's how every rapper going to be for real. You know how many people? No, that's not true. Who interviewed 6 9 since he came out? So you tell me if 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 uh if academics calls you right now to do an interview, you're not going to do an interview? I wish you would lie. Academics is a like a weirdo type of different type of dude. So it's okay. I'm talking about... You don't know me. I could be a weirdo type of... Th- that's, so you you going to interview with a weirdo you type of dude? You from the trenches. You don't know that? I, I could do be know lying. that. I, I be asking people. Wait, I, so I, you not... That's that's some bullshit. Wait, you going to do an interview with academics because he a weirdo, but yeah, not do an interview with me? Academics is the type of nigga, he's like a square. But I'm not no street that's nigga. That's like... That's, I, I been... I, I came from the streets, but I'm not no street nigga. I tell niggas that all the time. I've never been no street nigga. I so right now, if you and him get pulled over and there's a gun in the car, and it's... That ain't my gun. <laughs> <laughs> My, <laughs> let me ask you though. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Because that right there, to me, is not snitching. Because hey, hey. we in a car. No, listen. If we in a car, right? If we in a car, and I, and a nigga and, the, and they they pull me over as a gun in the car, right? I'm gonna say that's not my my gun. It's your job to say that's not my gun either. But you got me nah. saying that's not my gun is not saying it's your gun. That is your job to say it's not your gun. I ain't talking about. I ain't talking about the yes so man. Y'all different. two in the car. Bro. I think y'all should just not say nothing. I guess. I'm, I, I mean, but she if might you just, me That's something. not my gun. I mean, I guess. I, so I'm is it if your I gun? Get up, if I get locked up and they say, yo, I found a gun in the car. Was this yours? Nah, that wasn't mine. But no, who I'm was talking it? about while y'all right there on the scene and they find it. While y'all on the, the curb, handcuffed. Because I have been in them situations. Oh, see, so I have y'all on the curb, handcuffed. Just y'all two, and they find a gun in the car. So, let's what be, first of do? all, first of all, mm. it's easy to say what you would do. I've done it. It's easy to say what you would do. I ain't talking about you, but I'm talking about everybody's watching. It's easy to say what you would do. But being in this scenario, since you asked the question, if, if a gun is in a the car, they find it, I'm pulled over. I don't know. I'm like, if they ask me a question. I'd rather you say that. Yeah, I'm a, if they ask me a question, that I'm like. That ain't what you say that first. Not, yeah, because I'm and assuming that, they're going to be like, is this your gun? I'm like, nah, that ain't mine. Now they got you on your body camera switching it up. Now, you can't fuck with me. I, nah, I told man. you the same thing from I'm the beginning. I'm about to start a podcast. It ain't mine. Bro. Come on over to He's loyalty. Trying to I'm starting a podcast <laughs> called loyalty. <laughs> Come on over, That's bro. not unloyal because I'm saying it's not my Bring gun. Bring everybody. Bring the camera. Bring so, the cameras up. This is my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I made sure I was good. He said, oh, this is mine. I, all of it. I just bought the people. <laughs> Showed them so what wait, to do. so that's not loyal if I say that's not my gun? Bro, it's two of y'all in that car, bro. Just don't say nothing, bro. I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't of know. course I'm not gonna say nothing. Like, yeah, but if they ask me, nah, that's not mine. Like, nah, that's not mine. And I hope you're gonna say the same I, thing, I no? I don't know. I'm what not you're saying talking about. I'm not saying I would say yes, ma'am. That's I mean, but I'm just saying that's not my gun. That's 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 hot. That's snitching? I might be a rapper. Yeah, I was supposed shit. to. Damn. What? That's a snitching? If that's snitching, shit, I'm like, I ain't, I ain't scared of these niggas. Nah, they, 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 gonna, hey, they gonna chop this shit up. That ain't gonna be in there. It is gonna be in it. I, I'm not no hood nigga, bro. I don't have the same rules you niggas got. You can't go back to Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> he can't go back. I've been in some situations. You can't go back. All I'm saying is... I bet not catch you nowhere near Nacho Bangers. They gonna get you. I call. Ass. I will call. <laughs> I will call Killer right now. Fuck you, you call talking Killer. About? Dude. Like, I don't think that you heard who you calling. I don't think that. No, you. <laughs> I'm gonna call Killer right now. You said now. Nacho Bangers. That's his spot. Killer. Don't call me. You hot. No, my name Killer. I don't even know why you calling me for. <laughs> that's a big thing. <laughs> I don't know my man government. <laughs> Let me call Killer. Nah. I don't think Killer wanna talk to you. <laughs> I don't think Killer wanna Yo, talk. Yo, first of all, I don't... So so everybody here gonna tell me that's how if I say that's not my gun? That's me snitching? Flame on! That's snitching? It's a... 
Say I don't know. All right, I'm learning something. Okay, well, he ain't, he I learned say something. What he gonna say. Y'all so, re- so police pull me over. Boom, whoop, whoop. Hey, sir, I see you have a a, a loaded gun in, in in your in your possession. Y'all supposed to figure it out before they even get there. So if it's your gun, are you fast? I'm cool. I'm fast. Yeah, you better take this bitch and go. I'm not running from the cops. I'm not. You can run. Nah, they gonna catch my fat ass. <laughs> no, I'm not running. So you think I'm supposed to run because I'm fast? Better go get a gun license. So then you gonna snitch? I got a gun license. I got. I ain't I, got a snitch. I'm in Atlanta. I can. I got my gun license. Oh, you good then? Right. So why are you asking that? But when you go to Baltimore, what? your shit don't work up there. I ain't having my shit in Baltimore. I'm a higher security. <laughs> oh my god, you got an answer for everything. <laughs> Six nine one zero one, bro. First of all, yes, I'm interviewing six nine. Yeah, when I would. All right, let me know when you do it. Cause the niggas, the niggas that's judging me, fuck them niggas. I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. I'm, a, I'm interviewing six nine. I'm interviewing. So, bro, who is your top five, bro? I ask you a question. I don't know who hot. That's crazy. You know who hot. I don't be no. I don't know who be all. I, only person I know the hot ring leader is that nigga six nine kicked it off when he did it. Motherfuckers were like fuck this. So clearly you said somebody else hot. If you think uh, saying no, saying I got, that's not my gun. I got I got like make it home to my son and stuff. I don't want to get no altercations <laughs> with nobody and shit. I mean I don't really give a fuck. I don't. But niggas nah, that's hot, fun, man. That's the hot good. niggas know who hot. Matter of fact, comments. There you go right now. Put in the comments right now. Who who's top five hot boys? Top five snitching rappers. Top five hot boys. I like that. Yeah, we gonna start them a record label. Hey, it ain't it ain't my gun. Three old black in the building. <laughs> I will never be back in the building, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yo, that's crazy. I ain't saying I'm saying me. Yo, Stitcher is saying yo, nah. If it's only two of us in this motherfucker, I don't think that's snitching. I'm it's sorry, only two of us in here. Nope, that ain't mine. That's it. Yeah. That's what you said you're going to say. Yeah. No, nope, so it if, ain't if, mine. If they, if they pull you over, right, and I'm in your passenger seat, and you say, yo, that ain't my gun, I'm like, yeah, that ain't mine either, so I don't know. I feel like that's... And we can both be like, nah, that ain't ours. I feel like that ain't snitching. See, I got the type of... My friend's different. Yeah, talk to me. Like, my friends... What they going to say? Whoever don't got no charges... They got a ticket? They don't got a ticket, but they just... They'll do it. Yeah, you right. My friend's different, too, because... <laughs> Whoever gun it is, they probably be like, yeah, bro, I ain't let you go around for no bullshit like oh that. Yeah, you're right. Our friend's probably different. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you ever right. seen the Biggie movie? Which one? This is lying on now. The, 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 the Notorious. Yeah, the, I seen it. Yeah, when he was, I put my, I put my, my socks on first or something like that. Yeah. You see how he took that charge with Biggie because Biggie had some shit going on? Yeah, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I'm the, I'm the, uh, but I'm not going to lie to you. My, my, my group of friends... Honestly, we all got some shit going on. Like, honestly. No cap. Then y'all need to go get gun license. We got all my masks. We got- y'all got that shit in Atlanta. That's what I'm telling you. All right, y'all need it. I'm not in Baltimore, though. So don't, you don't like, go to Baltimore. When last time you went to Baltimore? Homecoming? Just, what was homecoming? October. That ain't that long ago. That's not that long ago. See what I'm saying? But I didn't have guns. I had my people with me, and we was good. You might want to go see families. Go... Security ain't going to always be there. And, see, and that's- sec- some security don't do shit. Some security be scared They just too. big as shit for no reason. But we be this, beating security up sometimes. Bro, I feel you. But this is why, let me tell you, young kids, this is why you leave the streets alone. Because the street rules is clearly different from the everyday rules. You know what I'm saying? I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen too. You a gangster. I ain't no fucking gangster. <laughs> man. I ain't that. Clearly we living from... Di- like, if I'm in the room... Honestly, right? Honestly, I'm be real. If I'm in a car with my mans and I got a gun if it's my gun I'm saying it's my gun that's what I'm saying point blank period I but you that's should, we you, move with integrity you should let your man speak first you should, y'all supposed to figure it out before the police get to the window we don't have to, if I'm in the car like, with my I mans right been, here I don't have to figure right, look, shit out and it's my gun I'm letting them know it's my gun look, point blank I done got we ain't pulled no over, over in no the car shit. with like my like cause I hang with all type of people like I don't just hang with street niggas I hang with like like square chill niggas and one day I got pulled over and my man, he had like some weed. He smoked mm-hmm. weed, but he like a chill square nigga. As soon as we got put over, he said, everybody take their own charge. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I got a gun in here. Like, but I'm like, fuck it. Like, you said it. But luckily, the police over there pulled us over. I played football with him. 
That's crazy. First of all, your man's worse than me because I wouldn't have said that. If you asked me, I wouldn't have said that. Man, he looked smack at me and said, hey, whatever everybody got in here, they better claim it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to just run. Like, <laughs> I was like, I really was thinking about it. I was like, I'm about to just run. Yeah, I ain't going to do that. I'm going to just be like, man, I don't know. Nah, That's that was fine. the luckiest day probably in my life ever in See, my whole life. See, you square, so we could, we could, we could, we could, the real black could be on here again, man. That would be, nah. The real black gonna fuck with me again, bro. I'm a square, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the street nigga, bro. That's crazy. You coming with me, bro? Hey, I bet. So this nigga gonna go to academics. So he gonna go to DJ academics, bro. The nigga who co-signed the biggest rat just because he's a square. But you gonna because I, I never, I'm from Baltimore. I never said you I would, judge me. I never said I would do it though. You did. You said I would do it. He a square. He, he's, he, I didn't he say excuses. I would do it. I just said he's just not the same type of person as you. He's a fucking square. We the same person. Come on, bro. Come on. DJ Academics is... Come on, bro. You don't even know me. You get bitches, bro. You I done, I, I I done seen you having the bitches on Instagram, bro. No, you bro. did. I got a girlfriend. I'm in your close friends, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's how you snip. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell on us? Now, that's how you tell on the snitch. We out, bro. Tell them how to follow you all that, man. This is crazy. Man, 3 black everywhere. Number three, letter O, letter H, black. J Hill. Ah, right, man. J Hill podcast. <laughs> it's a wrap. This is lit. <laughs> I've been tripping all week out here. We out. Yo, can you get uh, 